Hello, my name is Eber with Zoom, and in this video, I will show you how to set up the date and the time on your NVR and XVR. So as long as you follow the steps on this video, this video will apply to an NVR and XVR. Even though the layout may be a little bit different, the steps are exactly the same. So as you can see right now, we are on the main menu. We need to find system under configuration. You know it's system under configuration because of the gear icons. So once you click on that, you're going to click under general. And under general, you're going to find date and time. So right here is where you'll have your date for your system and the time for your system as well. This also controls the date and time for your cameras. If you would like to change change any settings, you can just do so by clicking on the number and clicking save. Make sure the time zone is also correct according to your time zone. If you do not know what time zone you are under, please make sure you do a quick Google search and it will let you know. Here you can change the date format and also you can change the time format. If you don't like it under 24, you can switch it to 12 and vice versa. This under DST, this is for daylight savings time. This is something I highly recommend setting up. That way you do not have to worry about every year or twice a year switching the time. Um, it would automatically do it for you as long as the unit has internet connection. So all you have to do is enable this. For the start time, you're going to select your start date. So whatever date you're on. So in this case, um, as of the recording of this video, we are on March 25th, 2020. So I put that as my start date. And for the end time. You're just going to put January 1st of 2035, 2036, a date that's very far away. That way, pretty much the system from 2020 till 2036 will automatically update as long as it's connected to Internet. And under here, this is NTP. What this does is that it's connected to the Windows time server. So as long as your unit is also connected to Internet, the unit would automatically update the time. So it's always up to date. So in case it's five minutes behind or it gets five minutes ahead for whatever reason, the unit would automatically update to the correct time. Under interval time, this is by default set to 60 minutes. I recommend switching it to one minute because what you least want is that you got to look at playback and then you realize that the time was incorrect and it took 60 minutes for it to update. That's why I like leaving it and recommending for you to leave it at one minute. That way, every minute, the system updates its time to make sure that it is always up to date um, under the port you don't have to switch anything and under the server you don't have to switch anything any settings that you do here please make sure you click save for any settings up here and for any settings down here make sure you always click apply um, and that is it that is how you set up the time and the date on your unit I hope that you found this video helpful thanks for watching